Ever wanted a fighter that's powerful yet checks all the boxes in terms of aesthetics? Well, I introduce you to the Epoa Sentakye. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that we're doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's get into the video. The Apoa Sentakye is a Xi'an medium fighter that is 24 meters long, 23 meters wide, and stands 9 meters high. The design of the Sentakye is very unique with its four winglets that hold its main thrusters give it a stance of an aggressive bug you wouldn't want to mess with. I love the way the winglets and weapons are held up by what looks like insect arms. Its repeaters give off a bioluminescent glow in the dark. Its missiles are flushed into its four winglets. The body of the ship is super sleek. And what's cool about this ship is the fact that it actually has a breathing animation that kind of brings it alive when it's landed or in flight. I love how the exhaust of the four main engines glow when in flight. These main engines are not only responsible for attaining high speeds, but also help maneuver the ship. From front to back, this ship is a work of art. The cockpit design is one of the coolest I've seen. It's what we'll describe as masterful craftsmanship. Great views for exploration and target acquisition as there is very little obstruction. You can literally almost look anywhere. You have two MFDs held up by a beautifully designed alien dash that is just unmatched. The pilot controls the ship with these two levitating globes. It has plates as buttons and are interactable. It has beautiful quantum drive effects during travel times. I mean, just look at this. For its systems, it has one size 2 shields, two size 1 power plants, and two size 1 coolers. For its propulsion, it has one size 1 Q drive, has an SEM speed of 220, and can hit 480 with boost and its top speed is 1150 in navigation mode. For its weapons, it has eight size two missiles with four size three yen two bespoke repeaters. This ship is elegant to fly. Its ability to turn and rotate is effortless. Its sounds are unique yet fitting for an alien ship very different from anything else you'd fly. And I think this is what CIG was going for when they designed this ship. The cockpit view is everything a pilot could ever ask for. Just amazing for exploration. I mean, just look at these views. Flight in space is just enjoyable. It turns on a dime and acceleration is great. In the atmosphere, it handles better than you expect for a medium fighter. Even when boosting, it still handles well. In atmosphere, when in nav mode, you can only really go in a straight line once you hit your top speed. The Centauk Ye is great in combat. Its four size three bespoke repeaters are the best repeaters in the game for its size due to its high rate of fire. Its capacitor size makes it even better. It has 93 on balance and 139 on full weapons. This allows it to maintain sustained fire on its targets. It turns on a dime allowing you to keep up with light fighters. With its size 2 shield, it's capable of out tanking more than a Hornet, but only when its shields are up. Be careful when you're fighting against opponents with ballistic weapons. It's capable of taking out light to medium fighters effortlessly as long as you keep guns on target. To have a well-rounded and effective fighter, it needs to be agile, nimble, powerful, and resilient. The Apollo Sentakye offers all these with style. 